Each data set has a story to tell and with the right set of tools, we can bring that story to life. Matplotlib is a famous Python data visualization library that provides us with a versatile set of tools to create stunning visual representations. But what takes our data storytelling to the next level is the integration of widgets available from IPy widgets. That's why in today's tutorial, I will explain how to create interactive UIs in Jupyter Notebook using Python libraries, matplotlib and IPy widgets. It will take your data storytelling abilities to the next level. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as you can see on my screen, I have already launched Jupyter Notebook. And at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of the tutorial. So first of all, we will be loading a data set. Then we will create two charts and then we will create a final dashboard using those two charts. Next, I have highlighted dependencies of this tutorial. So these are the list of Python libraries that I will be using in this tutorial. So scikit-learn will be used for a data set. We'll be using a data set available from scikit-learn. Pandas will be used for maintaining the data set in the memory. Matplotlib will be used to create charts and IPy widgets will be used to create interactive widgets. All right, so first of all, let me show you how our interactive UI or dashboard will look like. So we will be using a wine data set, which is available from Python library scikit-learn. The data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wines, class zero, class one, and class two. So as you can see, there are two charts. The first chart is a scatter chart and it shows the relationship between two ingredients. So you can select the ingredients using these drop downs for X axis and Y axis. And then there is a checkbox. So if checkbox is selected, the points of this scatter chart will be colored based on a wine type. Otherwise they will be of a single color only. And in the next, we have a stacked bar chart over here. So stacked bar chart shows average ingredients for wine type and you can select the ingredients that you want to show using this multi select which is available at the top of that stacked bar chart. So this is how our final dashboard will look like. So let's get started. So first of all, I have imported IPy widgets and then next I have imported a matplotlib. All right, so first of all, we will load the data set that we are going to use. So in this cell, I have loaded the wine data set that we are going to use and the data set is available through this function load wine available from scikit-learn. And then I have loaded the data set as a wine df pandas data frame. As you can see, wine.data has a data and wine.futures is a name of ingredients. And then the target names are taken from this wine.target uh, attribute. And we have set the target names in a wine type. And we are maintaining ingredients uh, variable where we will be storing the list of ingredients available to us. So let me execute this line of cell and show you how our data frame looks like. So as you can see, these are the ingredients, alcohol, malic acid, ash, and so on. And then at the last, I have wine type, which is the type of wine. And there are three values in this column, class zero, class one, and class two. And this is the categorical column. All other columns of our data set are continuous columns. So I will be using this wine df data frame to create a scatter chart. Now I will create a one more data frame from this wine df data frame that I will be using to create a stack bar chart. So what I am doing over here is that I am grouping the entry of this data frame based on wine type. So as you can see, wine type is a categorical column and it has three values. So after grouping, I am calling a meal fun mean function. So what this will do is that it will create a data frame where I have average values of ingredients for wine type. So let me execute this and show you how the data frame looks like. So as you can see, there are three values, class zero, class one, and class two. And these are average values of ingredients. So 13.74 is the average value of alcohol for class zero. 12.27 is the average value of alcohol for class one and so on. So this we will use to create a step bar chart. All right, so let's move on to next section and create our first chart. All right, so in this section, I will explain you how to create a scatter chart and link it with the widgets, which I had explained at the beginning of the tutorial. So first of all, I have declared in this cell a simple dictionary where I'm mapping class type or wine type to the colors as I will be using it. 
and then I have declared a function name create scatter chart. This function takes three arguments. First is ingredient one, which is for x axis, ingredient two for y axis, and color and code two. And color and code will be a Boolean variable, which will be either true or false. And based on that, the colors of the points of the scatter chart will be colored. So first of all, I am using style. So I am using a 538 style, which is based on a famous block 538. Then I, I am creating a figure object. And then I have if else condition over here based on the value of color and code. So if color and code is set, then this line of code else this. So if color and code is not set, I am simply calling scatter function on matplotlib. And then I am giving for x axis first ingredient, y and df of first ingredient, for y axis y and ingredients of second ingredients, and then dodger blue is the color of the points. So that's if the color and code is not set. If color and code is set, then I am simply looping through unique values of point type, which is class 0, class 1, and class 2. So for each value, I am filtering our data frame based on that value and taking only entries which uh, satisfies that requirement of class type and then from that filter data frame I am taking the ingredient one same I am doing for y axis and for color also I am using color map this dictionary so if it's a class 0 tomato color will be used class 1 dodger blue and class 2 lime color will be used so based on this if else condition our scatter chart will be created and then there are labels and titles and so on so let me execute this line of code and let's go ahead and test this line of code. So I'm simply calling a create scatter chart function over here with uh, string alcohol, malic acid and color and code I have set to false. Let me execute this. And as you can see, we have our scatter chart ready. It is showing relationship between alcohol and malic acid and all the points are colored with just one color. So if I set this one to true, as you can see, the points are colored based on wine type class 0, class 1 and class 2. Alright, so now that we have created our chart, let's move on and create widgets and then we will link those widgets with this chart. So over here, I have created three widgets. So first widget is a drop down, which is for x axis. So I have used the widgets dot drop down function and description is the label of that drop down. Options is ingredients, so list of ingredients. And by default, the alcohol will be selected. For the second drop down, by default, malic acid will be selected. And then there is a checkbox which I have created using checkbox function. So let me execute this line of code. Now, next, what I have done in order to create a UI, I have called this function name interactive output. This function takes our create scatter chart function as input and then it takes a dictionary where it maps the parameters of this function to widgets as you can see ingredient one parameter which is over here of this function create scatter chart is mapped to drop down one ingredient two is mapped to drop down two and color and code is mapped to color and code now what this function does is that it links this chart with this widgets and then it returns another widget which is output widget so let me execute this line of code and as you can see, scatter chart now is output widget. So let me show you what is there in scatter chart. So scatter chart has our chart, as you can see. So output widget can be used to display any kind of chart. So now that we have a scatter chart ready and we have our uh, widgets ready, let's link them to create a final UI. So over here, First of all, I am calling this uh, vbox function available from widgets and I am giving it list of values. So the vbox function lays various widgets into vertical fashion. And there is another function named hbox which lays widget in a horizontal fashion. So this hbox is given a list of three values. So the first value is uh, again called to hbox which puts uh, two drop downs next to each other. And then below that drop down, the checkbox will be displayed, and below that scatter chart will be displayed. So let me execute this line of code. And as you can see, here we have our two drop down created using hbox. Then we have a checkbox, and then we have our chart. So let's taste this part of code. So as I select this uh, color and code, as you can see, the points are colored. If I unselect it, uh, again they are colored with single color. 
let me change various drop down values and as you can see it's working just fine all right so we have a first column of our interactive ui ready so let's move on to next part all right so in this section we will create second column of our interactive ui which was a stack bar chart so first of all i have created a function name create bar chart and this function takes a variable name ingrates which has a list of ingredients for which we want to create a stack bar chart so first of all i have used the context manager with the styling details so 538 style then i have called average wine df data frame and then i have called dot plot dot bar function on it or bar method on it and for y axis i am providing list of ingredients whatever ingredients are given then i am setting a stack variable to true stack parameter to true so it will stack create a stack bar chart i have set figure size y label and so on so let me execute this line of code and let me show you whether it's work, working or not so i have called this function with uh, three values alcohol malic acid and ash so yeah so as you can see the code is working just fine and this uh, function is properly creating a stack bar chart it has created a stack bar chart of three ingredients alcohol malic acid ash for wine type class 0 class 1 and class 2 all right so now that we have stack bar chart ready let's create our widget so over here i have created a multi select in order to create a multi select you need to use this select multiple function available from widgets for options i have provided ingredients and index is set to 0 1 and 2 so first three ingredients will be selected by default and let me execute this line of code and this is the widget as you can see this is the multi select and i can select various values over here you need to press control when selecting different values and then i have again called interactive output function over here on widgets and then this time i have given our create bar chart function to this uh, function and then there is a dictionary which has uh, ingrates as a key which was the parameter of our create bar chart and we are linking to that parameter this multi select so let me execute this line of code and as you can see bar chart is the output widget so if i show you bar chart as you can see inside of that widget output widget our chart is plotted so let's create a ui of our second column so this time i again use a vbox function and the first argument so for its arguments are list and the first value of that list is a multi select and second is a bar chart let me execute that and as you can see we have bar chart plotted below this multi select so let's test it so as i select alcohol only alcohol is plotted let's select malic acid let's select hash let's select some other as well flavonoids and as you can see yeah this uh, second column is ready as well and it's working fine so let's link both the first column and second column and create our final ui right so in this section i have created our final dashboard so call one is the same code which we had used to create our stack uh, our scatter bar chart and the call two is the same code which we had used to create our stack bar chart so let me show you once again so as you can see this is the code that i have taken for call one and this is the code that i have taken for call two so that's call one call two then i have created an html widget which has a string and it's a h1 tag so this will be used as a header for our dashboard and then at the last i have called a widget dot vbox function the so first of all title will be displayed and below that title these two columns of these two chart will be displayed using hbox function so let me execute this line of code yeah and as you can see we have our final dashboard ready so let's test it as i unselect this checkbox points are colored with single color let's test the uh, different settings let's test uh, this uh, stack bar chart yeah so as you can see it's working fine and so this is the final dashboard that is created using our code it looks uh, quite good right so in today's tutorial i explained how to create interactive uis in jupyter notebook using python libraries matplotlib and ipy widgets 
Now I would recommend that you go ahead and try this kind of UIs using your own data set. If you have any doubts or any questions, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you liked our video, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos and see you next time.